Okay, welcome back, wrestling fans. This is the Rebel Badass. Um, just reading on the interweb on uh, WrestleZone.com and Impact Wrestling that um, Batista is about to finish up his WWF contract. Now, I half-ass believe this story because Batista's been saying he's been wanting to retire for the last. Uh, about two or three years now. I mean, dude, the dude's a grandfather. He's 45 years old. Um, he's not that great. But the reason they're giving for his uh, wanting to leave is some stupid-ass petty bullshit that um, WWF gave a, a movie role to, to Triple H that he wanted. Come on, man. If this is true, everything I've said since 2005 about Batista is real. He's the modern day warrior, man. I mean, his ego is just way too out there that he would quit or at least threaten to quit a company over a straight to DVD release movie. It's not even a major blockbuster hit. The guy's never going to be uh, a rock. The guy's never going to be a, a Roddy Piper, a Captain Lou Albano. Hell, he'll be likely, if if he, he does make movies, to have a career on the level of Hollywood scum Hogan, man. I mean, the guy has little to no charisma, couldn't wrestle to save his fucking life. Um, seriously, man. I mean, the, the, the WWF has hand-fed you anything they could to, to get you over it every time you've dropped the ball. I mean, they've built you just as hard as they built John Cena, but the difference is John Cena actually has a passion for the, the wrestling business itself. Whereas all, all, all Batista gives two fucks about is the, the bottom line, the dollar. He doesn't care about the fans. He doesn't care about the business. He hasn't tried to, to, to do anything that subsides from being the, the, the big lazy, as I like to call it in the wrestling scene. I've seen guys come like that a dime a dozen, man. Um, but quitting over... A movie. I mean, this guy got something like six hundred grand for uh, just wrestling at WrestleMania, and he wants to quit over a movie that he will get paid quite a bit less for. I mean, seriously, it's not going to be that far of, of a reach. It's not a, a major uh, uh, movie debut. It's just a straight to DVD. It depends on what market you get it on. Whereas the Triple H has been a major, at least in major movies, he was in the 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 Blade Trinity. Yeah, it sucked, but it wasn't a straight to DVD release, and he's a more marketable name, and he's quite entertaining to that fact. I mean, you get him on the mic in DX, he's damn entertaining. He he can be dry at times, but he's marketable, whereas um, Batista is not quite marketable. But, again, I mean, quitting a, a company that has made you millions upon millions of dollars over uh, uh, a fucking movie, man. I mean, this isn't the, the movie industry. This is wrestling. I don't wouldn't see I didn't see him quitting when he had to drop the belt every time he's won it. I mean, come on. At least when when Brett quit, he quit with dignity. Hey, you fucked me with the belt. I'm fucking going to another wrestling company. Fuck you, man. Um, but I mean, come on. Quitting under over a movie is like dropping out of school because your best friend had a Ranger Danger lunchbox. And yeah, the, the, the hardcore wrestling fans will get what I'm talking about there. <laughs> Decided I'd throw that little shindig in there. A little bit of 
Batista trivia. See who gets what I'm talking about. If anyone will actually respond. Um, if he does quit, goodbye, good riddance. Hope I never see your bitch ass again, you piece of shit. Uh, I just figured I'd do that one rant for today, just to fill in my quota of daily videos. It's checkout time.